Hi everyone, just another quick video just to say, uh, well, we didn't finish fertilizer spreading yesterday because unfortunately we had a bit too much rain, but it's still a bit drizzly this morning. But just finished the fertilizer spinning, just gonna go out now. I've just got a little bit of the fertilizer left in the um, tank of the tractor, uh, tank of the fertilizer spinner, sorry, not the tractor. Um, I'm just gonna truck this out down on the ground where. I didn't have quite enough to finish yesterday, so we're just going to chuck that out now in a minute. Um, but uh, today, um, or well, it's not going to be a very exciting day today. All we've got to do today is wash the fertilizer spinner off and wash the tractor off, put them to bed, and then um, we've got to tip some little baby chicks in the chicken shed um, later on. Um, so that's that's the job for today. Um, so just a quick video. Thank you very much to a comment uh, I had the other day on my video. Um, I can't think of the gentleman's name. Well, I can't remember the channel's name now, sorry. Um, but uh, he asked me, what is my favorite tractor? Now, to say that, um, there's two, well, well, there's more than two. I put two in the comment. But the favorite one at the moment, sorry, the tractor's very loud. The favorite one at the moment is the Massey 1718S, this is our new one for this year, 2018, um, this season. Um, a fantastic tractor. Um, the other tractor I like is a Bent, um, and I do like New Orleans, but at the moment, Massey, I, I do like the Massey. Like, the Massey tractor is a fantastic thing. Um, this tractor, to be honest, is a real nice tractor. It's nice to drive, it's soft, it's got full suspension, it's got front linkage, it's got um, we haven't got front PTO, we don't do no front PTO work. Um, she's got everything on, she's got the extra work lights. She's full spec up. The only thing we haven't got on him is for his GPS. Um, my boss guest hasn't put the GPS on him. But I think we are gonna be doing that. Um, later on in the year, I'll just jump back up in again. Oh, mind the noise. Um, no, like I said, we haven't got we haven't got GPS on this tractor, but everything else we've got we've got full spec. I know I showed you this the other day on a video, but um, no, a very nice tractor, Massey is. Um, like I said, I like I like Fent as well. Um, and I like New Holland. I used to run drive New Holland, um, but since I've been here, what is now uh, coming up to six and a half years, um, we run Massey. And it, ever since I've been on that, it, the Massey is lovely to drive, lovely to ride in. It's so simple. Lease with a Massey, uh, another quick thing, lease with a Massey is it is straightforward to drive. Um, like, all we've got to do to drive it is push him into forward, push him to go forward, to go forward, simple as that. You can change gear on there, you can go up for the ranges on there. Um, the other thing is we go up through the ranges and on this particular Massey, um, like on the other ones you have the T Dyna 6. This is like the Dyna 6, um, but on the Dyna 6 you just push the red button inside and to go up for the, into the second, you know, first, second, third range, um, and then push the bar, T bar, up the ranges to go through. With this one, it's it's straight through. You, you go from one to 50k just by pushing the lever forward, and then to come down, you pull it back. Now, like I said, the tractor is fantastic. Um, you know, some people say, "Oh, Fent this, Fent that." I like a Fent, and I've drove a Fent, and I think a Fent is a good tractor, and a Fent is a real good tractor. But with a Fent, it is it's, it's straightforward if you drive it as a you know as a straightforward tractor like this one. You drive straightforward, and it's a straightforward tractor. But um, when you've got to get into more complicated things, a Fent is just slightly complicated, a bit more complicated than this Massey. But saying that Massey and Fent are part of the same um, brand. So, um, but like I said, I love, I, I like the Massey, and I, I, you know, since I've been here, this, this is our first new one we've had, um, and like I said, it is fantastic, you know, um, it's good on fuel, um, that's one main thing now, 
um, you know we've got to cut down on cost of fuel and, and, and try to keep it as low as we possibly can but like I said just, just a quick video just to say about, about that comment when somebody left me and another quick thing like I said um, today is just a uh, just a basic day in the work um, I just finished off fertilizer spinning now I'm going to wash the fertilizer spinner off what is at the back there what is filthy at the moment because of yesterday uh, the amount of rain and that with the tram lines are in a state and we're getting covered in mud but go back and wash the fertilizer spinner up and another thing like um as well with fertilizer spinners everybody knows this but just to say again is when you use a fertilizer spinner it don't matter if you use it for an hour or you use it for two hours or three hours you always um always uh you know wash it off when you finished well, thank you for watching and if you comment and subscribe to my channel i'd be so much appreciated and thank you very much and see you shortly bye bye